There we go. Hi. Um, thank you, everyone, for, for coming here and also to all of our hosts. Um, it's really exciting for us to be doing our road show. Um, I assume most of you know who Mozilla is. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about Mozilla and a little bit about Firefox. Um, one thing that a lot of people don't know about Mozilla is that we are a nonprofit tech company. So we don't have shareholders. We are a mission-based company. So when we say, actually, we put people before profit, we, we mean it because we're not in business to make a profit. Um, and we really do strive to keep the internet open and accessible for everyone and to really think about what's best for people, not what's best for shareholders or what's best for you know, controlling interest in our company. Um, so I'm, I'm Ali Spivak. Uh, I'm based in San Francisco. Um, and I run developer relations for Mozilla. Uh, so the developer roadshow, it's all my fault. So if you have a terrible time, you can come yell at me. Um, you can reach me usually on Twitter. My DMs are open. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be here after. Um, so I think everybody, you're familiar with Firefox? Yeah. Um, are any of you familiar with any of the other forms of Firefox? Uh, so we have Developer Edition, which is specifically for folks who want to use our dev tools and do testing. We have beta, which is the pre-release stable version. So if you're trying to see what's coming up in the next release, but you don't want to take a lot, see a lot of risky technology, beta is really good. And then we have nightly, which lives up to its name. It is updated every night. Uh, that's where you can see the latest and greatest in all sorts of new things that we're going to be putting in the browser, some of which may take a really long time to actually make it to beta and all the way through up to our release version. We also have something really new, which we're calling Firefox Preview. This is a brand new browser, Firefox, for Android. Um, it is built from the ground up, and it's basically taking the concept of Firefox Focus, which was a very stripped down, fast Android browser that focused on privacy and security, and growing it into a fully featured browser. Um, if you're familiar at all with browsers, and I won't bore everyone with all the gory details, but Firefox runs on a browser engine which is called Gecko. We have a new version of Gecko that's built very specifically for mobile called Gecko View. And this is really the first iteration of us using Gecko View in a product. Um, it's currently, a ah, currently available uh, just as a beta. Um, and you can also see the project on GitHub if you're interested in sort of seeing what's going on there. It's a lot faster, but it also, again, really focuses so much on the privacy and security features. We also have a whole bunch of new features coming out. Uh, if you're into JavaScript, we have big int. So JavaScript utilized numbers. It's super flexible, but you can't really use big integers, uh, so big numbers. Um, and so big ints give you the option to actually have really big numbers. Um, one thing to keep in mind is you can't use big int and number interchangeably. So you have to really be, be specific if you know you're going to be using integer. We also have dark mode. Uh, basically, this allows you to preserve someone's color settings. So if they're browsing in dark mode, it won't get overwritten. This actually shows sort of the difference uh, in Bugzilla, which is the Mozilla bug tracking tool. You have dark mode, and then you have the light mode in the middle. So it actually allows people to preserve uh, if you're browsing in dark mode and like to have a dark screen, or conversely, you like to have a light. We also have CSS scroll snapping. Uh, this is really similar to the function you see in most mobile apps, where it snaps to the scroll uh, and doesn't sort of do the repositioning. Um, it's a really nice CSS feature. Um, and then we have a ton of stuff happening in our uh, yeah, Firefox DevTools. Um, so our JavaScript debugger and web console have been improved quite a bit. Uh, they're a lot faster, more streamlined, have a ton of new improvements. Uh, I'm not going to talk a lot about our CSS tools because one of our other speakers, HJ, is going to go into detail. But um, we've done a lot of work on design tools for CSS in our dev tools. If you do any CSS or interested in it, I highly recommend you check them out because they are awesome. 
Uh, grid inspector is one, so if you're using CSS grid, you actually can inspect the whole grid and see how it's going to be laid out. Uh, we also have shape path editor, so you can actually see that. We have a fonts panel, um, so you can actually see the changes that your fonts get made as you're working in the CSS uh, in real time. We have a Flexbox inspector, so as you're doing Flexbox, again, you can see in the browser all the changes that you're making and what impact they're going to have. Uh, and then the really cool one, changes panel. So inside of the DevTools, you can actually see all the changes that you've made. So if you've been making adjustments and changing things around, trying to figure out what's going on in your code, it's actually recorded here so you can see what you were doing. We've also improved the rules panel. Uh, you can't see it, but there's an icon. It's really hard to see in here. Uh, there's an icon that actually shows when you've made changes. Um, and we have accessibility checks. Uh, so this, again, will show when your colors um, are correct or not correct. Um, so it really helps making sure that when you're uh, showing things for people who have like, low visibility, it actually gives you advice for the better way to do that. Consumer features in Firefox that are kind of cool. Um, we've just turned on enhanced tracking protection. So what this does is, by default, will block known um, people who are doing bad things with tracking. Um, so it is enabled by default if you are a new user of Firefox. You can actually turn it on if you're already using Firefox. In the next couple of months, we'll be rolling this out as a default for the next time people update their browser. So it's really making sure that we're protecting people as they're browsing. We also have Facebook containers. Um, this actually is a tool that we've built so that if you're browsing Facebook, it puts it literally in a container so that they cannot track you across to other websites when you're browsing on Facebook. Um, and then we also have side-by-side -side profiles. So for a long time, you had to pick. You could either use Nightly or you could use um, the release version of Firefox, you can actually now have multiple profiles. So you can have nightly, you can have dev tool, eh, developer edition, you can have release Firefox. So as you're testing, you can actually go across all of those and see the differences in each one of the browsers. Um, and then we have auto, eh, I am having a really hard time talking. It must be all the jet lag. And I just got in last night, so I'm still a little, a little underslept. Um, the audio play blocking, so that turns automatically blocks videos from playing sound when you open a new tab, which is really awesome. And that is a super fast look at what's new in Firefox. Uh, and I'm going to let uh, Hui Jing talk in detail about our DevTools. Thank you. <laughs>